Greetings fellow glory hunters! Today I will show you how to beat the Moon Lord without being over cautious. No, you will not need the Ank or Rod of Discord, Discord or other OP items like that one. You can just get him with some simple methods and I will show you. Let's go. It can be easily done with some items that are not too hard to obtain or craft of course. Before we get to the gameplay part, let us briefly talk about the arena and the items you will be using. Arena first, of course. You will make a long asphalt road. Or don't, it doesn't have to be long, you know, your choice. You don't have to make it all the way along to the dungeon or stuff like that, but the shorter the road is, the faster you will change directions while fighting him. And that's fine. Alright, about the fighting methods now. Once you start fighting the Moon Lord, don't focus on anything that's not the third eye on his head. If you focus the eyes on his hands and you destroy them first, you will get yourself to a rough situation, which will get you in a really rough spot and probably get you killed. So just chill. Just chill while the while the eye is closed and as soon as it opens open your fire and go for it uh, don't focus on shooting at it too much your main focus should be dodging that laser that shoots out from that eye and you do that while shooting if possible of course you will get uh, behind it all the way. I will show you how it looks like in the gameplay part very, very soon. And after that happens, you will get between his hands. That's a tough spot. Just get out with your ninja gear and you'll be absolutely fine. At that moment, while you're there, you can change your direction or you can continue on your own. Absolutely fine. Now let's talk about weapons. Get your Vortex Beater. How do you acquire it? First, focus on getting the pillar that looks like this. After you defeat it, it will drop the Vortex Fragments. And you can use them to go back to your base and craft it immediately. You can continue your fight after that and it will be perfectly fine. Focus on crafting Chlorophyte Bullets for the fight. Or if you're really feeling adventurous, it's fine to go with crystal bullets. I use them quite often and I didn't have much difficulty with dealing with stuff. So pretty cool. Oh, have I mentioned how you get to the pillar stuff yet? Well, you go to the entrance of the dungeon, you beat those cultists that are praising the moon lord outside. And that will spawn a plague doctor from the darkest dungeon himself. And after you beat him, those pillars will be over your world. And you can see them as soon as you open your map at that moment, at least. Now let's talk about my accessory recommendations. First, wings. Just always have them. I brought the frost wings to this fight and they work perfectly for me. Pretty decent wings. You can get your better wings later, after the Moon Lord fight, of course, but this one will this ones will do the trick. Um, then ninja gear. Ninja gear is in my opinion quite important. Not too hard to obtain, but I do recommend it because you want to get out of some sticky situations, and you will see it in the video soon, how it all works out. So it's pretty good. And you should add a fine item of your choice, you know. I went for the Flesh Knuckles and they're not even hard to obtain. It's one out of five chance, so it's 20%, right? 20% chance to obtain it from a Crimson Mimic. Pretty good item, a pretty fine accessory. It works out. Also... You want to go for a sniper scope if you're going for the range build. It's just sweet. Craft it. And I also think that Celestial Shell is pretty a fine choice. That's it. Not much to talk about here anymore. 
Let's head over to the gameplay part, shall we? All right. So, so for this event, I'm going to get that Moonlord with my Vortex Beater. Yes, I really recommend that you go for this weapon. I do have a better range weapon, but it's a challenge, and I already beaten him with this. I really like Vortex Beaters. They're just great. Got some chlorophyte for some chlorophyte bullets. They're not needed, but you know, they're kind of cool. They can help you nicely. So just even this is enough. I like crystal bullets. Perfect. Don't go with the regular ones. Got crystals, got chlorophyte. GG. Armor. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you didn't beat Moonlord before. Multiple times, so... We're going to this armor. Please make this armor for your ranged build. Uh, it's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Where? Oh, I know, I know. Oops. Oopsie daisy. This is a gift from a friend. Anyway. Um, this is the one that I'm going for. There we go. Pretty fine shroomit armor. I'm not going to go for these wings. I will just take some regular wings. Like... Angel wings. You don't need to have perfect uh, accessories, but it's fine. I like celestial shells. It's always good to have. Uh... Okay, I don't need the sorcerer's emblem. That's for sure. Well, uh, ninja gear, please. If you don't have a ninja gear, just uh, go with the boots. Whichever you have. But I advise you, if you are not gonna go with the perfect gear, uh, just make the asphalt area. I will show you how it looks like. And have a sorcerer, please. Sorcerer? Flying saucer, not sorcerer. <laughs> Flying sorcerer. Anyways, this is like the area. It has to be a long one. So, if you're gonna not going for the perfect gear, just go for a long asphalt area. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I like having a bed with this. I mean, this was, or, this was already pre-built and I put my nurse in here. I do often use her uh, to be here so I can teleport. Just in case something goes wrong. There's a possibility that something goes wrong. You don't need to buff everything. People just need a little bit of practice. It's not a huge deal, you know. Stop it, harpies. I definitely recommend that you have a pet. I mean, this one is ideal, of course. But yeah, the dragon, Stardust Dragon, yeah. Get out of here, sir. Uh, buffs are not that needed, you can do that later. Uh, if you, you can even buff him. Look, he's gonna get bigger. There we go. And that's it. We're gonna go defeat the cultists and beat the board. Okay, okay. On my way to the dungeon. Thank you very much. Okay, get ready. Make your spawn zone close to. I mean, just... yeah, I could have gotten more stuff, but it's not that needed. People are too protective. Okay, let's go. Zap, zap, zap. There we go. Ranged build. Turn off your dragon. Not needed. It can actually screw you up. Your the main thing that you want to do is attack his eye. Don't attack his arms before you destroy the eye. So yeah, just chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buddy, I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> And there we go. It's open when the battle starts. And now use your ninja gear to get out of the range. There we go. But not too much. Whoa. Okay, there it is. Okay. When you see that it's charging, then dash. Okay, that was a bit close. But yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget to switch to chlorophyte bullets. I actually forgot it. It's not a big deal. What the hell? Oh, just in time, pirates. Uh, okay. Whoa, I didn't watch. My bad.
Okay, a bit of a rough start, but it will be fine. Okay, it's open. It started charging. You jump as soon as you see that and focus the eye. There we go. Hold your down button so you can get out. Dash, 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 dash. Get out. Okay. You can heal here. It's alright. Perfect timing. Oh. Okay, it's charging. You can even change the direction, it's perfectly fine. Ow. Okay, it's about to charge, there we go, it started charging, go to the right, 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 right. Keep firing, keep firing! There we go. Okay, this is a bit awkward, but it's not a big deal, just get out of there. Dash out, dash out, ninja gear is really cool. Okay, it's charging. As soon as it charged, yeah, this cloud is making it super awkward, but oh well. At least we managed to squeeze in some shots. Try to evade some of these things. Okay, it's about to charge. There we go. Get behind it. Tap, 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 tap. Easy. Back to the right. Healing is available. Heal up, and there we go. Close to four. Oh boy. We're on the other side now. That's the... Okay, it's charging. Don't let it hit you. Well, sometimes it might happen. But try to, uh, to avoid it. Just check. Okay, it's charging. Focus on the There we go. Back. Be, pre be prepared with your. Whoa. Uh, with your mirror to teleport. Okay, the next one will be the decisive one. Don't forget to keep healing. This one will be the last one, right? There we go, got it. Okay, you can focus on the hands now. Uh, focus on the healthier one first, I guess. Try to evade these ones. Keep firing, keep firing! Whoa. Okay, and now on the second one. Be prepared to teleport out. Okay, we're out. Hello, there we go. Get out. Turn on your spaceship and let's go. Dash out first. Dash out, dash out, turn on your spaceship and you're good to go. I actually forgot to even switch to this. Whoa. It's not hard, see? Oops. I actually may switch to be the wrong one. It's fine though. It's fine. No sir, I do not wish to fight you now. Maybe later. And there you go. You can even go further a bit. See? There you go. And zoom in. It's even safer option. It's not that needed. Perfectly fine. There we go. Easy. Gotcha buddy. GG. Okay, let's see what we get. Open your eyes. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right?